Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Qingxu. Let's look at the problem seventy-seven in chapter ten. In this chapter, we talk about the rotational motion. Now, in this system, we can see if we have object initially it is stationary, then it moves down to the bottom line at zero, right? First one, we need to find the linear velocity for this object. What quantity is given? The mass of the object, radius of object, angle theta, and the distance it covered. So for this one, it's simple. We just consider the energy is conserved. So initially, the energy is mg d sine theta. Of course, because initially it is zero, and this length is d, and this is angle theta. So distance from the initial position to the reference point is d sine theta, right? So the initial potential energy mg d sine theta. Finally, when the object reaches to this position, the potential energy is zero. We only consider the kinetic energy, including the linear kinetic energy and the rotational kinetic energy. And then, this I momentum of erasure for this object can be get by mass times R square. You can check your test book. And then the omega is angular velocity. So the relationship between V and omega is in this function. Now you can see you can input the i inside and the omega inside, and then solve this equation. You find it is uh, this uh, initial energy equal to final energy. Final energy is m v square. Solve the velocity v, you get the final answer. The second part is ask you to find the total kinetic energy at the final position, right at the zero, as we saw as we talked about. The energy is conserved. So at the final position, the kinetic energy equals the initial position potential energy, mgd sine theta. The third one asks you to find the minimum value must is the coefficient of a static friction. So for this one, we can consider we must do the force analysis. The friction force supplied to the torque. Uh, just uh, make this a uh, rotational motion. Do you agree? Yes. So we project the gravity in two directions, mg cosine theta and mg sine theta. Then we consider Newton's second law. First, at this uh, vertical direction, we have F1 minus mg cosine theta equal to zero because acceleration is zero. And then in this x component, we have mg sine theta minus the friction equal to ma. Right. And also, this object do rotational motion. So we have the torque. The net torque just come from the friction equal to I times omega alpha, angular acceleration. The next one, the I, momentum of erasure for this object can be get on this function. And the angular acceleration is the linear acceleration over R. Right. So you can see we can input the I and alpha. Inside, we get a function, look like this one. Then we solve this function. We can get this uh, fraction just equal to mass times acceleration. This is what we get. Now we input this one in our previous function, this one. You can see you input them, um, this one in this one, so there is no mass. Okay, So you can see. It becomes mg sine theta minus the fraction equal to the fraction. So fraction is just one half mg sine theta, right? Now we get the fraction. Can you find the minimum value the coefficient for static fraction? Sure, because we know the fraction must be smaller than the mu s fn, right? The fn is there. Fn is get fn is mg cosine theta. So then this function can be, so you input it inside there, and the f1 is just there. You get the function, look like this one, and solve the mu s, you get the final answer. Thank you.